So, what is going on YouTube? This is Sam from Team Samurai X1 here, and today, guys, I'm coming at you with my complete True King Dinosaur deck profile for the new Post Maximum Crisis format. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Today was sneak peek of Maximum Crisis, and it was such an absolutely amazing time. I've been, you know, I had to hunt for these cards, such as Dragonic Diagram. I finally got triple copies of that card, and of course, with the help of some of my friends from Dollies, I was able to complete the full and entire deck for you guys to showcase you guys the deck profile. If you guys want to see more deck profile, files for upcoming format you know in the near future make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button that will be very amazing guys for those of you who are new to the channel welcome to team samurai x1 and my name is sam and of course as i progress to their deck profile i'll be explaining to you guys all my card choices and the reason why i play them so if you guys definitely want to you know listen to all my card choices i definitely recommend you guys to stay and watch this video and you guys can hear my I, my explanations on some of my card choices and things like that deck list uh, is my deck list and what i think you know that works best towards my play style so this is the best list that works for me so if you guys definitely uh you know disagree with some of the card choices make sure you guys add in different cards or different tech choices into the deck you know depending on the, the type of play style that you know you, you play everybody have different play styles you know when building or you know playing a deck so just use my deck list as a guide to what you guys want to play in your deck so without further ado let's just start with the deck profile and you know what guys dinosaurs has to be like one of my favorite decks right now it's amazing the explosion of the deck is just really really uh insane and also guys if you guys are interested in purchasing a Team Samurai X1 Dinosaur playmat. I'll showcase you guys a picture right here. Uh, if you guys want to help support the channel, make sure you guys message me on my Facebook page uh, to be able to pur purchase one of these, and I'll give you guys the details on pricing and things like that. So with the monsters real quick. Let's start off with the True Kings. Uh, for the True Kings, you want to play Triple True King, uh, Little uh, Sagim, uh, the Disaster, uh, the Earth True King. You, of course, want to play triple copies of this card. Let me focus on the camera real quick over there. Camera got out of focus. My my apologies, guys. So the True King, uh, the disaster you guys don't know what it does, pops your babies and basically helps you explode into the deck. And this card, uh, basically, when it's special summon and if you destroy it, uh, two Earth, uh, either on the field or in the hand, you basically get to look at your opponent's extra deck and banish up to three cards with a different name. And this card is really good because you're able to help, um, you know, uh, get information on what your opponent is playing first turn, which is really powerful. You know, banishing, you know, the totally awesome first turn is also very, very good. And against the mirror match, most uh, players are playing one True King. VFD anyways, so you can banish cards like Trishula, VFD, or like the Legia uh, if you're, you are playing the mirror match, which is really good. So of course, Triple of the Earth, True King, uh, you know, the best uh, True Kings, of course, and with the release of Dragonic Diagram, you're basically going to have combo most of the time, which Triple Terraforming is just insane. With double Fire, True King, uh, the Fire True King is really good because it also helps you pop your babies, and also another Fire Monster in hand. You pop your own True King, uh, you also get their effects off, which is really great. So that's pretty much it for the True Kings. And I after the Dinosaur you want to play of course double ultimate canal trino this card is very self-explanatory this card is one of the biggest boss monster in the deck that you play and it's also a massive book of eclipse which can uh deal a thousand damage for each time it attacks a defense procedure monster and sends it to the graveyard and the really good thing about uh about the fact is that you know it, it doesn't destroy the monster it sends it to the graveyard and deals a thousand damage to your opponent uh so you know cosmo effects and cosmo shapes will not trigger because it is not destroyed it was sent to the graveyard and not destroyed so ultimate canal trino is really really amazing and only two copies of this card because this card is searchable of the Soul Eating Ovi Raptor, which you played three copies of in the deck. Of course, the one Dogoran, uh, the Mad Flame Kaiju. The reason why you play this card is because this card is a searchable out to Masterpiece. It's searchable uh, off, of course, uh, by uh, playing so Triple Soul Eating Ovi Raptor. You guys know how broken Ovi Raptor is. It is essentially a Foolish Burial and also a Straddles for the deck, which is really amazing. And of course, the secondary effect to pop a Dinosaur Monster on the field, especially I mean, a Dinosaur Monster from the Grave, is also very powerful as well because in the mirror match, you can pop your opponent's Dinosaur or monsters which is a good uh, note for you guys to know if you haven't not known that already next you want to play triple miscellanosaurus this card is one of the best cards in the deck because it is essentially a forbidden lands for your dinosaurs also really good against a paleozoic matchup because you're able to just dish to the graveyard to interrupt the chain and also um your opponent cannot basically uh you know your dinosaur monsters cannot be uh, you know affected by your opponent activated card effects which is really good there's also a fire uh, which is also another target uh for your true king uh the vanisher last but not least for our level fours you want to play one trino infinity uh, uh, Trino Infinity is really good because it gains a thousand attack for each banished dinosaur monster. And most of the time, you're already going to have a lot of banished dinosaur monsters because of Miscellanosaurus' effect. If you're already banishing four cards, summoning Trino, Trino Infinity, Trino Infinity already itself becomes 4,000, which is really huge. And it can trample all over a lot of cards in today's metagame. Let's go up to the babies. You know, the babies is the best aspect of the deck because of the True Kings. Uh, so, triple Baby Ceratosaurus and also uh, triple uh, Petit Pteranodon. 
they get their effects off when destroyed by a card effect and the good way you destroy them is off your true king's effect so of course the vanisher and also the earth true king and uh, of course the diagram these cards the benefit of those cards uh the most so yes and it's very self-explanatory as well and last but not least you want to play jirak aolo this card is really amazing. It helps you make Trishula plays and also help you get access to Denglong and also your Naturi Beast while you have a uh, true king of all calamities on the board, which is really, really amazing. And I'll showcase you guys some combos throughout the end of the video. So that's pretty much it for your dinosaur uh, part of the deck. All right, guys, so let's go up to our hand traps. The new hand traps that we got in the deck is Triple Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. This is the card that's going to make, you know, 60 card decks be afraid of, of, of this card the most, especially left from offering. Ash Blossom and Joy Spring is a very powerful hand trap in today's metagame. And I, I would like to give a huge shout out to my boy Stanley for hooking me up with these cards. Without, you know, with Stanley, I wouldn't actually be able to get this. So Stan, uh, Stanley, if you're watching this video, shout out to you, bro, for actually hooking me up with this. Ash Blossom has three effects. Uh, basically negates any card that searches. Also any cards that foolish burial something from the deck. And also negates anything that's special something, uh, special something, uh, something from the deck. So this card can negate, you know, left from offering. That grass looks greener. Maxi, uh, you know, um... You know, uh, the OV Raptor, Fossil Dig, Dragonic Diagram. This card basically negates every single card in today's metagame and is one of the most, you know, powerful, uh, hand trap to, to, to be ever made aside, you know, you know, alongside the Max C. So Ash Blossom is just really, really good for that. This card just stops every single card, especially 60 card decks. Uh, 60 card decks fear this card. And I'm so glad that this card is finally out, uh, in the TCG because it's a card that, uh, you know, we actually needed for a long time. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. If you guys uh, don't have uh, the funds for Ash Blossom and Joy Spring right now, I recommend you guys playing Triple Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. So Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit is really good because it's able to stop cards like Barrage, also able to stop cards like Dragonic Diagram, uh, which is going to be one of the most powerful field spell cards in the next up upcoming format. So being able to just have an advantage and just have an, an extra Ash Blossom per se to negate the, the Dragonic Diagram, Ghost Ogre is just a really, really amazing card in my personal opinion. And last but not least for our hand trap, the best hand trap in today's game is of course the maxi that's pretty much it for your monster lineup let's go off to our spells for the spells you guys want to play triple dragonic diagram this card is the best card in the deck because this card is your starter card of everything if you open up you know dragonic diagram with a baby uh you know with a baby uh you know dinosaur monster in your hand either one of these you basically have the combo and the combo which is absolutely insane which i'll showcase you guys near the end of the video so make sure you guys stay tuned for that once per turn you can destroy one other card you control or in your hand and if you do add one true draco or true king card from your deck to your hand so you basically get to destroy uh you know a baby and then add a or true king and you basically just go up with your combo uh from that uh from you know from there on so dragon diagram is just really really good you know one of the field spells that we actually needed for a long time to be able to play this deck at you know at at full power so triple dragon diagram next off you want to play triple terraforming uh, you want to see this card in your hand as quickly as possible especially with the babies uh yep so triple terraforming the switch up the dragonic diagram triple fossil dig uh essentially uh the same purpose you want to see your baby sarah stores in hand or the uh, so you will be wrapped in your hand as quickly as possible to combo off with your dra dragonic diagram fossil dig is just a really good searcher card overall in dinosaurs uh, you want to play double instant fusion. I love instant fusion because if you open up Dragonic Diagram ba and, and, you know, and a baby and instant fusion, you basically have a first turn Nat Beast VFD, uh, which is really, really strong. Uh, plus other cards, depending on the cards that you have in your hand and the different combo pieces that you have. But basically, you're able to just have access to the trade beast, which is really, really powerful. And last but not least, um, I love to play double Cosmic Cyclone. Cosmic Cyclone is just really good this format because if you're going first, you're able to draw this card to hit the Dragonic Diagram is really good. I believe that Twin Twisters isn't really that good in the main deck in today's format because a lot of people are going to be playing true dragos and also a true dinosaurs um especially against true dragos if you twin twister their back row or their uh traps and spells those cards gain effect because they were destroyed uh you know the trap cards gets to destroy a monster if it if, if it basically leaves the field and also the spell card gets to destroy a uh you know a, a back row if it leaves the field so hitting cosmic cyclone uh to banish those cards to not trigger out their effects is really important so that's why cosmic cyclone is just uh, way better uh in today's uh format rather than um was it called the you know the twin twisters but definitely you guys can uh still side the twin twisters or if you guys want to main twin twisters and feel more comfortable maining twin twisters you guys can go ahead and do that so that's pretty much it for your spells guys and that's pretty much it for your main deck let's go off to the side deck real quick guys, uh for the side deck it's all it's all up to personal preference you guys will play whatever you guys want but this is what i have so far for the side deck so of course the second dog around uh the mad flame kaiju uh searchable off uh the ovi raptor okay cool 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 one dog around uh the second ghost ogre 
double artifact Lancia, and of course uh, double DD Crow. DD Crow is really good against the Paleozoic and also good against the Mirror Match as well. Being able to banish the Miscellanosaurus from Grave is actually really good because Miscellanosaurus is one of the main combo pieces in the deck. Uh, so hitting that card to you know prevent your opponent from going off is just really amazing. And also really good against Infernoids and also against the Zoo matchup. Uh, Double Dark Hole and of course the one where Geki. Board clearance is always really good and also helps you bait out the laggy as well. Double Twin Disturbs against Paleo, uh, which is really amazing. Uh, Triple Master Restrict uh, for the True Draco matchup. Card is really, really great. It's essentially like you're playing against Monarchs. Uh, if you're able to open up uh, this card early game, you pretty much have a really uh, huge advantage over the True Draco matchup, in my personal opinion. And last but not least, you want to play one Imperial Order. As I said before, guys, uh, side deck is, al is always up to personal preference. You guys can play whatever the heck you guys want in your side deck. But I just like to showcase you guys, you know, a side deck preview of what you guys can play against uh, in today's uh, metagame. So that's pretty much it for your side. Let's go off to your extra deck. For your extra deck, you guys want to play, of course, double uh, Evos or Lagia. You know, Lagia is really good. Being able to just to make Lagia in today's meta is just really amazing. And you guys all know what Lagia does. And that's why I love this deck so much because it reminds me so much about Dino Rabbit. Of course, when Evos or Dolka. And a good thing to know is that Evos or Lagia and Dolkas are fire. So if you already wasted their materials already, already used their materials, you can pop these guys off, uh, you know, the, the true King Vanisher, the, uh, the, the fire, uh, to pop these cards, which is good. One Diamond Dire Wolf, uh, one Abyss Dweller. Oh, really good. One Castell. Sorry about that. One Castell. Uh, one Lightning. One Utopia. Of course, one Phantom Fortress. Uh, okay. Phantom Fortress is really good because you're, you're able to make uh, Trish and Phantom Fortress first turn to basically banish two cards in your opponent's hand the very first turn, which is really, really amazing. Uh, so Phantom Fortress is really good for that. Uh, one True King of All Calamities. This card is essentially a skill drain uh, for True Kings. So if you guys don't know what this card does, that uh, once per turn during the player's turn, you can attach one Xyz material from this card and declare one attribute. This turn, all face-up monsters on the field become that attribute. Also, all monsters in your opponent's possession with that attribute you cannot activate their effects or attack okay so it's essentially a skill drain you call earth all your monsters on the field becomes earth which gives you access into the tree beast because your drac aeolo will become earth and let's say your and, and your northern walls will become earth which helps you make the tree beast which is really good and also during your opponent's turn you you call earth or something all those earth type monsters that your opponent has because they're they're going to be earth attributes because you called earth they can activate their effects or attack, which is really powerful. You can basically call Earth and you can, you know, use, uh, you know, the, the Earth True King of the Disaster to pop, you know, the Earth monsters on your opponent's board to summon itself, which is really good. So True King of All Calamities is just really amazing. Uh, of course, one Shishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, uh, one Denglong, you know, first turn, uh, Denglong basically helps you make a uh, True King of All Calamities, which is really amazing. I want a tree beast because you can easily make it with uh, uh, True King of All Calamities and also uh, the Instant Fusion play, which is really important. Uh, one uh, high speed Roy Chambara. Chambara is just really good because it uh, helps OTK your opponent, uh, especially with uh, Ultimate, Ultimate Conductor Toronto, which is really good. And last but not least, you want to play the one Norden to run off our extra deck. So that's pretty much it for the deck, guys. Let's go off to some combos that you guys can do. With All right, guys, so let's start off with the first combo real quick. All you need in your hand is a Dragonic Diagram with any Babysitter Source or Petit Tyranodon in your hand and you basically have the combo and you have access to these cards so many ways you have Obi Raptor, Fossil Dig or even hard drawing them and of course you got six Dragonic Diagrams in the deck because you are playing Triple Terraforming so without further ado let's go out with the first combo this is a very basic combo you can do with Random Source you can activate uh, Dragonic Diagram okay activate Diagram effects to pop the baby Sarah Source okay to basically uh, add this card to your hand uh, the True King activate baby Sarah Source it was destroyed by a card effect you can um you know, uh, what's it called? Add a special element, a soul eating Obi Raptor from the deck. Now you want to activate Obi Raptor's effect. Let me focus on that real quick. Sorry about that. Activate Obi Raptor's effect to search another baby or Petit, uh, Petit Tyranodon. At this point, I'll just search an, another baby for the purpose of this video. Okay, so here, here's another baby. So what you can do now is you can normal summon this baby, activate soul eating Obi Raptor to pop the baby Ceratosaurus. Okay, pop it to target the baby Ceratosaurus engraved, the other one. Okay, now this special summon is now the baby Ceratosaurus is going to activate the special summon. Let's say a third baby Ceratosaurus, or you can, you can even special summon the Petit Tyranodon, okay, at this point. Because uh, now you want to activate the True King's effect, okay, in your hand to pop these two cards on the field, okay. Uh, pop these two cards. Now you want to activate, uh, trigger off these two. In fact, you want to special summon the Jirak Aelo from your deck. And with the Petit Tyranodon effect that you uh, that you pop, you want to special summon the Miscellanosaurus from your deck. Now you want to overlay these two to the graveyard. Not overlay, send these cards to the graveyard. To special summon a uh, Denglong. You have a Denglong right here. Activate Denglong's effect. 
to basically dump a true king monster to your grave. You're, you're probably going to dump this one, okay? So dump the fire one to your grave. And this is your graveyard right now, okay? So this is your grave. Really, really awesome. Yep, this is your graveyard. And now you want to activate, uh, since this card is, uh, you know, Denlon is level 9, you can overlay these two to summon uh, the true king of all calamities. Uh, okay, which is really awesome. And if you are playing double Jirak Aeolo, you can activate uh, Miscellanosaurus effect to banish yourself, especially in the second Jirak Aeolo from the deck. But I don't, I, I don't recommend you guys playing double Jirak Aeolo because it's like you're playing double Garnet in the deck, and you, uh, you don't want to ever do that, in my opinion. But what you can do now at this point is that you can activate Miscellanosaurus to banish four graveyard uh, with the Miscellanosaurus, especially on level four monster from the deck. You can special summon, uh, you know, a Soul Eating Warrior Raptor or Miscellanosaurus from the deck. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and then you can overlay these two uh, for a Lagia, okay? Which is really, really, really awesome. So that's a first turn standard board that you guys can do uh, with True Kings. And this is only off two cards, by the way. So you use two cards to make this amazing board. And on your opponent's turn, you can activate this card, uh, make everything Earth, and your opponent cannot activate their effects and also declare an attack with them. And you have a Lagia with three other cards in hand. And depending on the cards that you have in your hand, you can basically extend your combos even more. If you had Instant Fusion at this point, uh, uh, yeah, if you have instant at this point, you, you can easily make the tree beast with this board, which is absolutely insane. So that's a first turn board that you guys can do, uh, with the sta standard combo of Dragonic Diagram. Let's go off to combo number two. Alright guys, so let's go off to combo two real quick. For combo number two, what you need is, of course, Dragonic Diagram and, you know, any two babies in hand, okay? If you have this combo, you basically have the ending board of, uh, either, um, you know, a Calamities or, like, you, uh, you can double Trish your opponent. You can have Calamities and Lagia. But this board, I'm gonna showcase you guys double Lagia or Lagia Dulk combo. Uh, very first turn. If you open up Diagram with two of these cards. So what you can do is you can activate Dragonic Diagram. Okay, uh, pop, uh, you know, you know, one of the baby Cerasaurus, uh, or the Petit Tyranodon in your hand. You know, I'm gonna pop the Petit Tyranodon. Okay, to search, uh, you know, the, the Earth True King, of course, Petit Tyranodon is gonna activate, especially when the Soul Eating Over Raptor from your deck. Okay, now Soul Eating, uh, Eating Over Raptor effect is gonna activate to help you search the baby Cerasaurus from your deck to your hand. Okay, since this already searches in your hand right here, what you can do is that you can normal summon baby Cerasaurus, activate Over Raptor's effect, pop the baby Cerasaurus, Dispatch summon the Petit Tyranodon from your grave. Now, uh, maybe Cerasaurus is going to activate its effect. Dispatch summon a, a Miscellanosaurus, uh, from the deck. And these two other cards in your hand, you, you had this in your opening hand, and you searched this card. Now, since you got two babies on the field, you're going to pop the baby Cerasaurus, and also, uh, the Petit, Petit Tyranodon on the field. Dispatch summon, of course, the True King, uh, Lithosagum, the Disaster. Now, these two, uh, uh, bad boys are going to activate. Dispatch summon a you know, a Miscellanosaurus or, you know, an Oviraptor from the deck or a Trion Infinity, depending on, uh, you know, whether or not you're going first or second. But let's say for the whole purpose that you're going first, you can go with this board right here. And then you can overlay, uh, you know, these two and these two uh, for, of course, a uh, Lagia right here and also a Dolka. Or you can even go double Lagia first turn. And you also have two other cards in your hand, uh, which is really, really good. If you have, uh, what is it called, uh, Insta Fusion, you can, you can extend your uh, plays for even uh, even more. It would open up double Lagia or Lagia Dolka with a uh, uh, Litho uh, Sagium. And you can also banish three cards in your opponent extra deck off this card's effect. And it's just uh, off, of course, Dragonic Diagram. Uh, and also having two babies in hand. So this card literally starts off every you know all your plays card is amazing so that's pretty much it for uh, you know for common number one uh for common number one and two it's like you know the basic standard copy uh you know combos of the deck uh if you guys want to see more combos uh let me know in down in the comment section below i'll make sure i'll do more combo videos on this deck thank you guys so much for watching and uh yeah let me know what you guys think about this new true king deck and yeah guys this is sam from team sam sam signing out all right guys peace